Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I am sharing a smorgasbord of different things with you. By the time this airs, I think it'll be 2022, but that is okay. I'm showing you my Christmas and what I've kind of done in the past month. I made a really cool pancake mix for kids that's pink or blue. I uh, had a little guitar jam sesh with my uncle for my birthday. And I went to my friend's 30th birthday party and we made the coolest fire oven pizzas. It's been a month, it's been a lot of fun. I'm excited for 2022 and to get back into vlogging. So come with me, let's get started. Every year I have this big idea to make a bunch of stuff. It's already mid-December and I need to mail everything and at least my tree is nice, right? So there's that. It's kind of leaning too. I've got a lot to do. But I do have to say, I got these from the dollar store. I really, really like them. Um, easy gift wrapping, right? Hello, it's been such a long time since I've been on the vlog, the blog vlog. I wanted to share something very exciting that I made for Christmas. I always do some sort of handmade Hannah style gift. I am making something for the kids in my life. I will get started and show you exactly what I did. Okay, I am ready to make some homemade pancake mixes for the kids. I have 12 kids in my life, um, and so I've made these little packs. They've got little like Smarties and coconut flakes, and then these ones are like, look at the glitter, so fun. I got these at Bulk Barn, so I've pre-packaged them. To make it extra fun, I'm going to dye it. So we've got some blue spirulina here, and this is beet powder. So there's gonna be blue, and then like a reddy pink one. So I got these bags online, they're sealing bags, and I'm putting all the ingredients inside, including the sprinkles, and really it's super simple the kids can put it in a bowl and then put in their liquid of choice like an oat milk or an almond milk and even a three-year-old can participate in this it's a really fun activity and like i said i did test them prior so sorry they're like brown from cooking but like this is the beet one super pink and this is the blue spirulina one. So I put about a teaspoon each in and you can't really taste it. It's actually like really good for you too. So I'm excited to get going on this. So I make the labels myself. I use, um, I have Avery labels that I make the designs in PicMonkey and then drag them over to avery.com. They have some amazing templates and you can just plug in the labels and print them on your own computer. Um, my little nickname with my uh, little friends is called Aunt Banan. So these are the labels, Rufus and Banan. They obviously love my pet hedgehog, Rufus. So th this is gonna be fun. I really think they will enjoy it. In fact, I already tested this with one of my little friends who's three and is a picky eater and she absolutely loved the pancakes. Um, you'll see the photo with her and her sister. They both really, really loved them. So I think it's something that I might put on my uh, website to sell. Let me know if you think it would be something you'd be interested in purchasing for the little ones in your life or maybe even the adults. I mean, it doesn't have to be for kids, but it is something that kids can get excited by and get into the kitchen with you and make them in a few easy steps. Show you the actual 
special powder. I don't know if you could see it from before. It's so potent. I hope the kids will like it. I like that it's like all natural too. So I'm very excited by this project. I highly recommend making stuff from scratch. I will say I've been doing this for a while. I've got some funny stories of just going overkill with the holiday handmade gifts. One year I decided to make my own tarot cards. Like that's hard enough. I drew them all by hand. I looked up which each tarot card meant, drew it by hand, made this like cheat sheet list. And I printed all the tarot cards out, but I was an idiot and I printed them and didn't get them pre-cut. And I made like, I think enough for 20 people. Like I had like this stack of cards, no joke, was like this thick. And I was hand cutting them all by hand and putting them in little like baggies. It took me two weeks probably to cut them all, like every day after work. And I had a friend help me, shout out Olivia, thank you. <laughs> to literally cut all of these cards. It was insane. Another year I did the, I made homemade curry, which was really fun. However, I decided to make it in just like your regular Ziploc bag and didn't like seal them or anything. Now I have a sealer. I highly recommend the sealer. Basically stuck them in my suitcase and brought them to Vancouver with me and stored them in my brother's room. Anyways, my, my dad was like, you have to shower to my brother. Your room stinks. I'm just gonna buy a new deodorant. <laughs> Turns out it was the curry. The curry was just left over in my, in my poor brother's room. And so we coined that Christmas, the curry Christmas. Uh, we still joke about it. Yeah, and then other years I've just done like elaborate, elaborate things. I've honestly blocked out a lot of them from my mind because they've been so elaborate. By like the second week of December, I'm like breaking down in tears because I've ta taken on too much. We'll drink the bottle and then make dad recycle it. <laughs> This could be our new Christmas tradition. Where should I aim it? The tree. Not at the tree, it's gonna bounce back. <laughs> You're mad. Maybe just out the fence. Aim it at dad. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Opa! Opa! This one, mm -hmm. this one here, okay. next to it, right okay. next to it. I'm making a special gift for my friend for her birthday. So I've made this bloody dark and stormy and some little things to help with garnishing. Ginger beer, got some blood oranges and these beautiful glasses that are kind of like a dark blue and gonna put them in a package together. Oh, this is a total bummer. As I was wrapping it, I shoved it a little too full. So I guess she's drinking for one, which is always the best way to drink, isn't it? Um, I need to get ready now um, for the birthday party. So I'm gonna make a special queso that I made a million times. It's um, from the Hot For Food cookbook. You know when you've cooked something a lot because it literally like falls open to this page. But I mean, look at that. 
bring it to every party. It's vegan. You can make it nut free if you want. And it's super good. shocked about how beautiful this is every time I make it. It's velvety, it's bright yellow. I wish you could smell it. It's gonna cool down by the time I get to my friend's house but I'm going to heat it up and it'll be ready to go. Look at that. You know the week before Christmas and New Year's is always the week where you just want to be a slob. I don't like wearing bras or like nice clothes, but it's my friend's dirty 30, so I'm gonna dress up, gonna go out, and I've got my lovely dip. I'm the day old question <laughs> bangs, which are very Dwight esque right now, or no bangs with this cute headband and this really cute top I got from Anthropology. The lighting in here is horrible, but I'm thinking headband because I don't know what the weather's gonna be like outside. I got this beautiful little necklace from my Nana. Um, I also got <laughs> new extensions. These are called fill-ins. I just washed them, that's why they're a little crimpy. Um, but they're the same length as my hair. They just add thickness. I've had these before, um, but this is the like double thick brand, uh, double thick version. It's like 50 grams where my old ones were like 20, 25 grams, something like that. So I'm really excited and I gotta like figure out my makeup too. <music> This is the part where I filmed myself talking through all the makeup I'm wearing and it was long and drawn out and didn't think you needed to see every small minute step of what I was putting on. Maybe I'll do one of these in another video. I don't know. I felt like I was just rambling on and on. Um, but I will put what I use for makeup in the comments um, so you can see exactly what I do. But by no means am I a makeup artist. Oh, I was like bummed for a second because I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to do all the things I told myself I was going to do today. But one of them was filming my vlog and I'm doing it without even realizing it. Ha ha! they tell you to put them at the um, like closer to the top of your head but my hair is so thin at the top that I kind of like to put them mid hair and they're really easy they're just three clips and you just clip them in like so ready yeah just like that three clips
quickly perfume. Put on my chest. Look at my wrists. Et voila! And it's snowing! And I'm ready to go. tend to do the first pizza like a little I don't know, it's really basic just in case yeah. it was wrong. Okay. <laughs> it's like when you make pancakes, you don't yeah, want yeah, to. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like count on one of them getting messed yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't take long, does it? It's like the Prima yeah. Strada pizzas are like 90 seconds or something. Totally. We can get pretty close to that. Wow. Probably need to turn it down slightly. Yeah, it really doesn't need long, hey? Thanks, guys. Yeah, Bye, fun. friendies. Bye, guys. <laughs> At some point, we'll have to bring your. We're gonna have repeats, don't worry. I didn't know it was a photo shoot, but I didn't just give a pause. <laughs> <laughs>